Well, welcome back, my friends, all to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. We're going to talk about Work Tough Gear, my favorite company. In particular, we're going to talk about the Hellion or Hellion designed by Zeke Minacho, made by Work Tough Gear. Absolutely adore it. I'm playing with it before Zeke. Now, if you are new here, I am a use channel. Um, we do hard use. We borderline on abuse. Not really a test channel or a review channel. More of a, hey, let's go tear some shit up, have fun channel. We do take it seriously in that we try to make the knife work. So if you see something like that, I love big knives. It's what the foundation and basis of this channel is. And again, if you're new here, this is a rambling talking video. Check out some of the hard use stuff. This video will be coming out June 6th. I worked hard to try to get it out today and the weather just absolutely would not let me. We're going to talk all about it, but I want to show you a couple other things real quick. Now, that one is by Zeke Minacho. This is the Puzan Wilderness Bowie, nine inch, no choy, choil. Dave Puzan designed the, the Puzan Wilderness Bowie. There's a nine inch with a choil. He has the Predator Hunter Bowie, I believe a seven inch. To me, this is my favorite Puzan Bowie, the no choil. I like everything about this knife. It is a well-designed knife. Uh, Dave's a good dude, and but I, I love this knife. So we're gonna we're, I'm gonna use this kind of for a reference point as well. Let me show you another one by Dave. That is this is the Puzan Wilderness EDC. Now I'm intrigued by this knife. There will be a hard use review on it. It will be next Wednesday. Uh, again, if you're new, what I try to do, I started Work Tough Gear Wednesday as a thank you. Um, to Work Tough Gear for being so good to me. I have reviewed their knives for probably two and a half years now. They send them. I beat the hell out of them. It's a win-win for both. This knife will be coming up next week. I'm intrigued by it. I've enjoyed the way it feels so far. I have some thoughts on it. We'll talk about that. The next knife I want to show you is important to this video for a couple of reasons. This is the V44X. This was designed by Reese over at Well Regulated. Reese is a good dude, a good friend, a good brother in the blade, just like Dave is, just like Zeke is. This knife I really do love. It was based on the old Marine Raider Bowie of 19, uh, in the 1940s, the World War II guys. Now, uh, Reese was a Marine veteran. He, he built this, he, he designed this, worked tough gear, made this. Reese took a lot of shit over this knife. He took a lot of shit over this knife because there's a certain group out there um, who really, I, I want to be careful here in that I just don't want to ruin my knife. People said that this knife copied this knife. It in no way looks similar um, unless you're just an idiot. Now, let me say this. This is my house, physically, metaphorically, channel-wise. So I'm going to say how I feel. There's a reason I'm bringing this up. This knife looks nothing like this knife, okay? Nothing. I had a, I read a comment on Facebook that asked if Reese was going to give Dave credit for this. Well, that would make sense if Dave was going to give Resin Bowie credit for his. Doesn't make sense, does it? They're not the same, are they? Here's why I'm bringing this up. It's on my mind, and I want you to listen to me, especially especially the group of you who, who decided just to try to shit all over Reese. I just said specifically that I liked all three of these guys. Zeke, I, I do love, I love Zeke. He is a brother in the blade. He kind of opened the door at Work Tough Gear, right? But I like Dave a lot, good guy, solid guy, man of faith, I like Dave. I like Reese, he's, he's a down the line guy. And all Reese wanted to do was have his knife made. He didn't hound Vic Lynn. He didn't chase him down. Uh, Vic thought it was a good fit, so Vic made the knife. While I like all three of these guys, I love Vic Lynn. Vic is a brother from another mother. No company on this planet has done more for this channel than Vic Lynn. We're almost to 100,000 because of Vic Lynn, because of his generosity, because of his, his, his willingness to, to send me stuff to review that other people may not can get their hands on to send me stuff because he knows I'm going to put in the time and the work and the effort. See, when you say, oh, I'm going to go start a YouTube thing being smart, you have no clue what it what it takes. I mean, that sounds good. Well, I'll get a free knife. Okay. I, I've got to where I just let that slide because that's about as ignorant as saying Reese's knife looks like Dave's knife. I just let that go, you know. 
What I'm not going to let go is this. While you were trying to run down Reese, you, you weren't just running down Reese. You were shitting all over Vic Land. I won't put up with it. I left Work Tough Gear's Facebook group, not because I'm angry with Work Tough Gear or with, with Vic or, or Dave or Zeke or anybody. Well, there are people there that I am. I'm not going to do hypocrisy. A lot of my videos, you'll say, yeah, Scab tells it like it is. Let me tell you something. I am the same way today as I will be tomorrow, as I was yesterday. I'm trying to improve and get better. I'm trying to, to grow. But the one thing that will never sit right with me is bullying, bullshit, or hypocrisy. Why am I bringing it up on the Hellion when this should be a celebration? And it will be. I'm bringing it up because I said a couple things about it when it happened and then I kind of let it go. And I waited. I waited and I waited and I waited. I waited till this knife come out. I've been excited about this knife because of the knife because of Z. But when this knife come out, exactly what I thought was going to happen, happened. Nobody said jack shit. Because those of you who run down Reese and those of you who run down Big for making the knife and those of you who did all that, you don't have the nuts to say anything about this knife. You won't put that on Facebook. You won't do it. You just won't do it. You won't say it about Zeke. You sure won't. Now, I've said my piece. That's how I feel. Again, Dave, Reese, Zeke, guys, I love you. I respect you. I enjoy reviewing your knives. Vic Land, you are a brother. I love you to death. The rest of you never get this twisted. If I'm going to stand up here and, and, and bark and be holier than thou and say how I feel on one thing, I'm going to say how I feel on everything. And how I feel was Reese was done wrong. That being said, let's jump into this. The Hellion, or Hellion. Zeke, tell me how you say it. Kirk says I'm saying it wrong. He says it's Hellion, like Ray's Hell. It, this is in Bowler uh, K329. I love everything, and I, I want to make sure I give you all the best look. And again, I've got a lot of the video shot, but I wasn't going to hurry this thing up. Now, it's got kind of that ap apocalyptic finish. Let me see if you can. Now, guys, I'm blind here because I got the camera turned. Apocalyptic finish. It's got some great fullers. The handle. I want to talk about the handle, but let me give you some stats on it first. I'm basically just going to cover this knife, and then we're going to call it a night. Like I said, the hard use video will be on this thing tomorrow. Here's the deal. This knife from tip to uh, pommel is 16 inches and seven eighths. It has a 11 and a half inch blade with about 11, let's go with 11 and five sixteenths cutting edge. The width at its widest point is three inches. I love that. Now the handle, the handle's intriguing. Now, I know that this is a prototype. I know there's gonna be some of these at blade. But I'm curious to see what Zeke thinks about this handle. The handle scales, now I'm not, I'm not including the pommel. The handle scales are right at five, uh, five and an eighth. The inner grip is right at four inches, okay? And when I'm talking inner grip, I'm talking here to here, four inches. The vast majority of hands in the world will be able to hold this. In fact, I have extra large. Let me show you all. If you want to know, like inner grip, from here to here, is when I'm talking inner grip, okay? So how the knife rides in here. I have extra large mitts. This part's an extra large. My fingers are medium to large at best. I, I've said it a million times. I have broken hands, busted hands, beat up hands. I bounced for 20 years. I worked construction for uh, 34. I just got busted up hands, right? But for me, this fits pretty good. I think Zeke's hands are bigger than mine. Really curious to see what he thinks. The ass kicker on this, or the, the game changer here, is it's one inch width, right? Now the blade stock is three sixteenths, but we've got one inch. For those of you who've swung a Tramatina machete, this is, an, is a platinum version of that. What I'm saying is this feels like the thickness and width of a Tramatina machete with, with good materials. This is my car to handle scales. Feels great in the hand. I'm locked in. Zeke, I'm really, really curious to see what you think. That's Lola singing. She's kind of iffy on it. I love it. I'm curious to see what Zeke thinks. I'm going to put, I'm going to point up so that when I go through and watch the video, you'll know. 
What I'm gonna do guys, I did a short today. Now I chopped two four by fours with this. One I put in a short, shot it vertically. I'm gonna put it in here. Here's what I wanna do by doing that. Let me do this so I'll know. As you see me chopping here, the, the hellion hits insanely hard. Now, there was a moment or two of deflection. That's not on the knife. Guys, that's on me. The knife is thin behind the edge, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. It's thin behind the edge. It's only 3 16 inch thick. The blade geometry is great for chopping. And if, you'll, if you really pay attention to this short, you'll see that I chopped this four by four in two in under 30 seconds. Now, hold on one second. Lola, enough in under 30 seconds. Okay, so you see a little bit of deflection. Here's what that is. That's my hint. I've just found out here recently, I guess we blame deflections on knives and I'm not being a dick. I, my hands are so busted up. And, and one thing I want y'all to understand, let me show you here. See how this handle is, how it has almost that. And I'm not, I, I want you to understand, I am, um, what's the word? I am praising the handle. I am not knocking the handle, but it feels in hand like a Tramatina. It's just way more comfortable. I like a thick grip like that where I can really grip and bear down. But if you go back to the short when the video is over or just check the short out on YouTube, you'll see the first couple whacks, there's a deflection. Guys, my hands are so busted up that when I do a new knife like this, I, I am literally getting used to chopping. I'm showing you. I don't go out and chop a bunch of shit and then film it. I don't do that. Not old scab. I show you everything. Good, bad, big, little, short, or small. I show you cutting myself. I do all that. Why? Because it would be disingenuous not to. So when the first time I picked this up was to shoot that short. Now, what you're going to notice in the hard use uh, review tomorrow is it takes about 42 chops in my long form version. I slowed down. I took my time. This thing hits like a tank. Even when I slowed down and I went in like this, I've had people just know oh, you chop. It is when you run a knife channel. Because you see, I'm not doing it in a long form review for speed. Shorts are for speed. I don't speed them up. I don't hurry them up. I don't do any of that. If I can't get a board chopped into, whether it's a real four by four, one of them petrified four by fours. By the way, when I do a real petrified four by four, I show you whether it's good or not. Most of what you see me chop is dunnage. That's what we have at work. Guys, this channel costs money. And I, I'm not bitching, I'm not poor mouthing, but I'm not running to Home Depot and buying four by fours every other day to chop with a new knife. I, old, old scab got money, I ain't got it like that, okay? So I grab what I get and I use it. That's it. This thing hits like a truck. I love it. I am curious, curious, curious to see what they'll do. The, the rest of it, I am a recurve fan. Always have been. I like, if I'm gonna take the knife like this and I'll do this some in my long form review and just try to do a little planing I like taking a board like here and just kind of hooking it in and scraping. Now I want to show you all something. I've chopped two pieces of dunnage. I've stabbed a tire. I've cut ratchet strap a ton. Um, I chopped a, a air hose. I did all kinds of stuff with this. I got about six minutes of footage. Um, what I wanted to do is come home and get more. That, that was my goal to come home, go out in the woods and it started thundering. So instead of, maybe I'll get that stuff. Let me, let me get this one done. I'm, we're, Megan and I are about to do our yoga and I guess she's decided to make as much noise as she can. Praise the Lord. But I wanted to show y'all how this knife holds up. This is Bowler K329. Now I haven't stropped it. I haven't, we won't do any stropping until tomorrow when the video's done. Then I'll, I'll cut paper at the end. But I'm going to tell you, that's pretty damn impressive. I always get this comment, and it's from people on shorts that don't watch our long forms, about edge retention, especially when it comes to work tough gear. The edge retention is phenomenal. One thing Vic does insanely well is the heat treat, and they're constantly working on that formula. So the edge retention thus far has held up really good. I'll point out this too, right here. Pinch grip, if you need it, it's there. The handle contours here. So you have a lot of handle contouring. Also, that pommel, that is a wig splitter from hell. One thing because, and the reason I wanted to go out in the woods, and I'm gonna wrap it up here in a minute, 
But the reason I wanted to go out in the woods with it is because it, it, it's a great chopper, it's a great stabber, but I, it, it just has a little bit of that machete, um, Florida jungle type feel to it. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna beat it up. I wanna show y'all a couple things, couple comparisons. Again, the Puzan Wilderness Bowie No Choil. Again, this is my favorite offering from Dave. I love the cleanness, I love the sleekness, I love everything about it. So we go here to here, you see the differences there. Now, I believe the Puzan is a quarter inch thick. Could be wrong. I think the Puzan's a quarter. This one's three sixteenths. So you get that really, really, really slicey look to it. The V44X. Now, there are the Hellions a little bit bigger on blade length and a little wider. Totally different design. You see Reese's design comes here. It's that old school marine fighting knife, right? Good for the jungles and stuff of the Pacific. Where this one differs a lot is you have a recurve here and a straight here. Your fullers are different. But if you look at them, see, that's, this is why I get annoyed, guys. A Bowie knife is a Bowie knife is a Bowie knife is a Bowie knife. There's no more reproduced, replicated people putting their design on knife in this world than the Bowie knife. None. They look nothing alike. I praise the Lord for that. The three of them look nothing alike. That's the beauty of the Bowie. You put your spin on it. Every, just about, I'd say 90% of every knife designer, knife maker out there has their own version of a Bowie knife. And I love every one of them. I really do. I love the chopping of them. I love the slicing of them. I love the stabbing of them. I love the historical significance of them. That being said, stay tuned tomorrow night for this, the, the hard use review. I cannot wait to get this. Zeke, good job. Reese, good job. Dave, good job. Mr. Vic, man, you know I love you. God knows I do. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. To all of you who have subscribed, to all of you who've rode with me, to the new people, man, thank y'all. I love you. I'm Scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son.